Good morning. Mother of Perpetual Help Devotions. O Eternal Father, in your plan of salvation, your word became man, announced by an angel, and born of the Virgin. Through the motherhood of Mary, you gave the human race eternal salvation. Through the resurrection of her Son, our Lord, you gave joy to the world. You gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they joined in prayer with Mary, our mother. By the help of her prayers, keep us faithful in your service and let our words and actions be so inspired as to bring glory to your name now and forever. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Perpetual Help, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we present our petitions as the humble sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, hear the prayers of your people as we come to you under the patronage of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Despise not our requests and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Let us pray. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert McElroy, our Auxiliary Bishop John and Ramon, our Bishop Emeritus Robert Brahm, our clergy, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant that people may live in social peace and religious unity. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant that the Holy Spirit guide the sons and daughters of our parish in choosing their way of life. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant that the people of our parish retain their health and that the sick regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant eternal rest to all the deceased members of our parish and to all the souls of the faithful departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant guidance and aid in all the special intentions of this parish and all the needs of those present here. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us silently present our personal petitions to our mother of perpetual health. O Mother of Perpetual Help, we the faithful proclaim your praise as the most pure bearer of God and our ready helper. You are the protection of our race, our tainted nature's solitary boast, the shelter of humankind. The Lord is with you, and through you he extends to us the gifts of his tender heart. All creation is made joyful seeing you with suppliant arms, uplifted praying, that the burdens of this world may be lightened, that rulers may govern wisely, and that our souls may be redeemed, and we may enter into peace with your Son. And so, blessed Lady, all-embracing refuge, we solemnly claim your protection and beg Christ, your Son, our brother, for his mercy, that we may be kept from all evil. We acclaim your greatness. We venerate your gracious care. We present ourselves before you in faith, hope, and love, seeking the truth that will lead us along the way into the life that you share with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen.
worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock that he shepherds. Alleluia. Come, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For we are his people, we are the flock that he shepherds. Come and worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock that he shepherds. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after. And make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jews first and then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith as it is written, the one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suggest the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attri attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. As a result, they have no excuse, for although they knew God, they did not accord him glory as God or give him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning 
and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man, or of birds, or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshiped the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pour out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the end of the world their message. to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined a table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within gives alms. And behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. The Christians, we have the custom that uh, when you enter into the church, you're supposed to dip into the holy water and bless yourself as a sign of cleanness or purification as you come into the church. It is a custom which grew 
for many, many years of our Christianity. The Muslims, as they get at the door, they wash their feet, they clean themselves, and they say that we want to enter into the mosque while we are clean. It is a custom, a tradition that they have for a long time. The Pharisees, the Jews, they had also a set of number of customs that they had to observe before doing liturgies, before eating, etc., etc. And here today we hear one of their customs that they needed to wash the hand, and not only the palms, but also until the elbow. And this shows that, yes, you are clean, and now you can go to the table. This Pharisee invites Jesus to dine with him, and Jesus immediately go to the, to the table and started eating without washing his hands. He looks at him, and he says, why don't you observe our practice? And Jesus is a little bit hard on him, calling him fool, knowing that he also is just pretending outwardly, but inside of him there is a lot of evil. Today, Jesus wants us to reflect about inner transformation, interior transformation of our lives. That what we do outside should correspond what we believe and what is there in our hearts. Sometimes it is easy to please people by external signs, gestures, etc., but inside it is not so. So Jesus wants both to be equal, and that's why sometimes he tells us it's not bad what goes inside of somebody, but what it comes, because that comes really from your personhood, from the, from the heart, and you mean what you show outside. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect on these words of Jesus that uh, this transformation of our hearts is a call to repentance. Because we say you cannot do repentance if you don't go down into our hearts. If you don't uh, scrutinize, or we don't uh, scrutinize the heart, until we know, yes, one, two, three, A, B, C, we need to remove from our hearts, we will remain with those kind of um, evils or tendencies without changing. We are not Pharisees, but the message that Jesus gives today is not only for them, but for all who listen to him like this Pharisee. Amen. Amen. as rice. As we gather together today with the confidence in the Father's love, we bring our needs to him.
for an increase in religious vocations. May the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For all public authorities, leaders of nations and governments, and those entrusted with the welfare of their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are dealing with the scars of war, conflict, or violence, may the healing power of Christ restore their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the community gathered today here, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in our daily lives and decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died in the hope of rising with Christ, may they soon rest in his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the repose of the souls of Mario Roberti, Ron Gray, and Irma Barbone, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the intentions written in the Book of Intentions and all the intentions we hold dear in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. May the petitions of your Church be pleasing in your sight, your Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask, uh, ask out of confidence in our own merits. Through Christ our Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the Son, the bringer of day. He carries the light of the Lord in his rays. The moon and the stars who light up the way unto your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God. And all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the wind that blows through the trees, the sea's mighty storms, the gentlest breeze. They blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the rain that waters our fields and blesses our crops so all the earth yields. From death unto life, her mystery revealed springs forth in joy. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, 
and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. It says that my sacrifice in the U.S. may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, your Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devoutness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as though you, your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with a great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures save you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis sunceli et Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make it holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, your Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that a partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, 
Robert R. Bishop, John, and Ramon, his auxiliaries, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us have your command, and from the by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in your days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from moral distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not to all thee that we should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another, as we proclaim your death, as we recall your life, 
We remember your promise to return again. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, Lead us to one another. The bread we break and share was scattered once as grain, just as now it is gathered. Make your people one. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. We eat this living bread, we drink this saving cup, sign of hope in our broken world source of lasting love bread of life hope of the world jesus christ our brother feed us now give us life lead us to one another Let us pray. We entreat your majesty, most holy, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, 
and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord with the life. May you have a wonderful week. And now we continue with the, the adoration to adore our Lord Jesus Christ. O salutaris hostia, que celipandis hostium, Bella premunt hostilia, Darobur fer auxilium, Unitrino que domino, Sit sempiterna gloria, qui vitam sine termino, nobis donet in patria. Amen.